Microsoft is launching the fourth iteration of Windows 10 called the Fall Creators Update, and I'm going to take this mixed reality experience for a spin. Hello, I'm with Amal Shah, the head of Microsoft Canada's Consumer PC Division. Amal, you're uh, moving into more mixed reality type of solutions. Can you talk about some of the new products that are coming out uh, for, from this area? Yeah, so uh, in, in about a week now, we'll be launching, launching our Fall Creators update to Windows 10. It's our fourth update with, right. the, with the, the OS. Um, and Windows Mixed Reality is a big part of that, in addition to many other things around Paint 3D, some more inking applications, as well as accessibility features um, as a whole. But it, the, the lead is Windows Mixed Reality. So one of the key features of this is you're trying to make it more mobile for, uh, for, uh, for people. Uh, how yeah. are you doing that? So I think um, there's a couple of ways to see that, uh, look at that. Virtual reality as a whole, it's been around for a bit. You know, we launched HoloLens a few years back. Mm -hmm. um, really being able to leverage that technology into the current Windows Mixed Reality world it was key. Now, uh, I would say there's four areas where we've focused on. Mm -hmm. The first is ease of use. Right. Uh, and so typically with virtual reality headsets, um, it, they're very complicated to use. Sometimes they take you know two to three hours to set up. Right. Um, they're pretty stationary. Right. You're often drilling holes into walls right. to, to set up the sensors. Lots of parts. Uh, a lot of parts. You know, you can get all, well over 30 to 35 components with it. Um, with this launch and with these headsets, you're down to five components and probably a 10 minute setup. And so you have a headset, you have a PC, two controllers and a wire, and you're good to go. So you can really take it anywhere, whether it's to a friend's house or whether taking it on a plane and watching a movie on Netflix. Um, that mobility piece is huge. And then the second piece is just the compatibility, whether you're using an Acer headset with an HP PC um, or vice versa, um, it's, all, it's all compatible with, with other OEMs. So how are you moving uh, this solution beyond just the consumer aspect of it? Uh, so again, a lot of what we did with HoloLens is built into this. So we talked about sensors and, and the fact that they're not stationary, uh, gaze and voice. It's all built into these headsets and you can see through the sensors over here. Um, as you know, HoloLens um, have a lot of commercial applications, mm -hmm. and whether it's healthcare or whatever. Right. whatever. And education Education well. is a huge right. part of our use. You've done a lot of the demos yeah. that showed you yeah. Machu Picchu and Italy. And so right. the, the idea is to bring that all together. Uh, into this mixed reality world and, and allow developers to build not only for HoloLens but for other devices as well. How are you working with your OEM partners and what are some of the price points uh, people can expect? So all of our, for the most part, all of our OEMs will be launching a headset um, in the next month or two. Um, so we have Acer, Asus, HP, Lenovo, Samsung just introduced their headset. Um, so we have an awesome partner ecosystem that we're working with. Um, price has always been a consideration, so we've really worked with them to really get the price to an affordable um, area. So these will range between $549 and $599. Perfect. So Amal Shah, the head of the Consumer PC Division at Microsoft Canada. The new update will have OEM headsets and cables from the likes of HP, Dell, Acer, Asus, Samsung, and Lenovo. They'll all be priced from under $600. I'm Paul Dunley-Bledo for IT World Canada and CDN. Thanks for watching.